Hey, ladies and gentlemen, you see, as you can see on this video, you are seeing a letter displayed on this video. And that letter was issued by our royal father, I think two weeks before the Edo State gubernatorial election or so. Asking Edo people to pray and fast to avert the issue of by, by bloodshed in Benin. But a lot of people did not take it serious. A lot of people did not read any meaning to it. A lot of people just took it as a mere announcement. And they were very lackadaisical about it. But today, the reality before us now is that for the past weeks, we've heard of court-related activities and a lot of people have gone down. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is to clear the air, to make it very known to the public that those who are using the opportunity to throw insult to the royal palace of Benin and our monarch, you see, you are incurring causes upon yourself. You are incurring the wrath of God and nature upon yourself. Because why? Our father saw it coming. There is no prophecy that is as greater as this. There, there's no prophecy that there, there, there's no prophecy that is as um, um, profound and legit like this one. He saw it coming and he was specific to say this is why we should pray and fast to avert kilikili bloodshed. That was the content of that letter. But a lot of persons didn't take it serious. But today, the reality before us now is here. What am I trying to say? I can say that things that is going on in Benin today are, in, in respect to these court-related activities, is perpetually because of disobedience to simple instruction by our supreme traditional ruler, by our supreme spiritual head. You know, a lot of time, plenty of people goes to different churches as Benin's. We go to different churches to do our church activities and whatnot. But now, this is our royal father calling. And I think a responsible pastor should take it, should take the announcement from the palace and announce it to the church. Say, so, see, let us pray and fast. That letter was issued before the game more, if I'm not mistaken. As you can see on the screen. But people are talking now. Oh, wait till our palace they do put. Oh, wait till they're not going to do put. When they said prevention is better than cure. The palace asked the people to pray so that this thing can be averted. But in Wanibuma, a lot of people did not read meaning to it. You see, this is a lesson we must learn as Edo people, especially the Benins. Any information that we hear from the palace, we have to take it seriously. Because if they play now, if they show, we are seeing it before our very eye. Even some pastor prophecy is not accurate rich like this. I'm not throwing shade to anybody, but it saddens my heart that, you know, a call was made for people to take it serious. We were very negligent about it. We, we displayed our negligence towards it. And now, the tragedy is in our doorstep. We are now looking for solution. Instead of us to avert it, to prevent it, now, now we are looking for solution. I just pray that, you know, God help us so that this menace going around, this court issue comes to an end in no distance time. Obaga talk he said.